everyone and welcome to this Video Sans Frontier video. My name is Jay Whitefield and um, without meaning to start a nice round of innuendo wengo, we're actually in my bedroom. Now there is a good reason we're in my bedroom and um, that is because I plan to turn this room into a sensory room. Now you might be wondering what is a sensory room? Well a sensory room is a room full of things that can kind of capture your senses. Really good for people on the autistic spectrum. So, the reason I want to do this is because, well, it's no secret that I get stressed out quite easily. So, for different people, different things may kind of help them, you know, in a sensory way to calm down. Hopefully, well, and for me, I found that one of the things that kind of really captures my imagination, captures my senses, is changing colour lights and things like fibre optics and what have you. Now, I've heard of sensory rooms, you know, and what have you, and um, I would like to visit a sensory room, and if I do, we'll be videoing that. Um, but, uh, my, but for the time being, I have actually bought something that will hopefully start it off. So let's pick up this remote control. This remote control goes to, well, before I tell you what it goes to, I just should tell you a bit about it. Now you might see all these coloured buttons. And you're probably thinking, well, what do these all go to? Quite interesting. Then there's a few buttons. There's setup. There's um. Oh now now my camera is playing silly. Please excuse me. Set up, cancel, off, on, flash, strobe, fade, smooth, W, and then there's what looks like, um, you can go from a small amount to a larger amount. You might be wondering, what does this remote control go to? Well, why don't I hit the on button and see which device actually starts up? Would it go to a television, perhaps? It might do. But why would I have all these different colours? Television wouldn't... Well, you can change the hue on a television. It wouldn't be done through this remote control. And where are all the buttons? Instead of just me kind of guessing and leaving, this, leaving you all in suspense, perhaps I should just hit the on button see what happens. Oh, a lamp switched on. Now what this is, this is a regular lamp, just a regular tabletop lamp. Um, it cost me about a fiver from Asda, pretty much smart price. And what this is, is just an LED bulb. I'll just switch it off. That's what it looks like, the bulb. If I remove the bulb, it's got a regular bayonet fitting, so it'll fit in any light socket. Probably should switch that off first. So, at the moment, it's set to its idea of white. It's not really white at all. It's kind of more purpley blue, but then all these devices, all these RGB devices, they can't really do white. So let's press some of the coloured buttons, see what happens. Red. That on the control panel looks like pink, but what it actually does 
is kind of a burnt orange. It's it's quite interesting because I've had nightmares where lights have done that. Wow. <laughs> nightmares coming true. Oh, wow. But I can change that. So I could go for, you know, a more orangey yellow or just have yellow. Or I can have green. That's quite nice, actually. I find green quite calming. I can have bluey green, kind of a, a teal. More of an aqua kind of blue. Even more of an aqua blue, or just regular blue. Going to... Yay, purple light! Or I can go back to white. And with these buttons here, I can dim it. Any colour I want, I can just dim it. Now if I go to some of these, you've got fast, and it just kind of cycles the colours. Or I can just go to strobe. Well, the first one was flash, sorry. Now I've got fade, which it, it kind of just fades into the colours. Or I've got smooth. So if I wanted to check the LEDs, right? Red, green, blue. Damn it, Randy! <laughs> Yellow. Thanks. White. So, what I think I'll probably do is have it on fade. Just most of the time. I don't know what setup does. It seems to flash it. If I just cancel it. And you can actually switch it off here as well. But you do have the usual lamp switch on and off. Which I quite like. Now, I want to be able to use this lamp while in my bed without necessarily having to get up and a few other items. The idea is I'm calming myself down using these sensory tools. If I have to get up and switch everything off, I'm not feeling very calm anymore. Now, that would necessitate me needing to have some sort of system where I use my plug sockets. I can control my plug sockets via remote control, which means I would need new plug sockets fitting, right? Wrong. This is a remote control. This is a plug socket with an on-off switch. What we're going to do is we're going to take the lamp plug we're just going to unplug the lamp, normal as you like, we're going to plug this in, sorry I think I got the wrong plug there, did I? Yeah I did, whoops, going to take this plug Right, sorry about that. I'm going to plug that in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to switch the lamp on. If we've got the right blooming plug, which I can <laughs> Now this is flashing. We can switch it on by here. And the lamps come on. Or, we can use the remote control.
So, what we found is when I switch this off, it's number three. Oh, a wee relay goes off. Hear that? So, the idea then is, I've got these two remote controls, and as I have more devices, like I'm planning on getting a, a fibre optic lamp, I can actually work all these at the touch of a button. So if I put the remote controls by my bed, you know, if I want to jump into bed, and just power the lamp on, I can change it to whatever I want, so if I want it dimmer, I can do that. Or if I want it a solid colour. I like that colour. I think I probably have that colour set a lot. Kind of a minty green. But for the time being, I'll just have it set on fade. And this will be perfect on a night when I'm feeling a bit stressed. What do you all reckon to that? So there you have it. Now I got um, I got this for eight ninety nine on eBay. You can also pick them up in Menkind if you live in Aberdeen. However, I got this given to me. Someone actually said, "Oh, do you fancy a box of cables?" And I said, "Yes." And there's a few things in there that are actually really quite nifty. So I'll just power that off. there you have it. So my sensory room is starting and um, I will keep you posted as I get more items. Basically it's, it's still going to be my bedroom but it's it's going to become hopefully a fully fledged you know paid up sensory room. And um, so like I said I'm planning to do this as a serial on YouTube just to kind of show y'all you know what you can do if you too want your own sensory room. Anyway, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and if you like what you saw, please join me for my next video. Thank you very much.